project. And I've just heard that my, my father's dying. And I felt by the power and grace of God, I couldn't let these people down. But it was the hardest day of my life. To keep up the front, to keep up the stiff upper lip, to carry on while suffering so inside and getting calls on the cell phone. My sister all day, well, he's at the hospital and they're doing this. Well, the doctors are asking this. What should we do about this? Interrupted all day long, being a host to visiting guests and, and attending to their needs. When all I wanted to do was crawl into bed and pull the covers over. And yet, by the strength of God and ministry, do you know there are people who, there who didn't even know what I was going through? And they came and they took over. There were people like my assistant. Well, she knew, I told her, who came and went the extra mile. Who carried me through. And your prayer. Ministering angels will come to you when you're doing what God has called you to do as hard as it is. The most difficult day ever in my life. And God's strength, like God's strength to Jesus in the desert, attacked by the devil, God's strength took me through it. And he can take you. Whatever you're facing. And when you're through it, he will refresh you. He will take care of you. He will minister to you. You've served him. You've worked for others. Now he will take care of you. He will refresh you as he did Jesus here, hungry and tempted and struggling. And the greatest refreshment we have is Christ himself and his sacrifice and his salvation. This holy communion is a refreshment. This bread and cup that we're about to receive in the Lord's Supper, representing your salvation through Christ, the body and blood, <coughs> through which you have forgiveness of your sins, you have eternity in heaven, you have the indwelling of the Holy Spirit to strengthen you. That's what this Lord's Supper is. Symbolizes strength, forgiveness, and eternal life. It's really true. Our faith. It's really true. This is God said in the Bible in First Corinthians eleven. And the Lord Jesus, on the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it. And said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same manner, he took the cup. And he said, this cup is the new covenant in my blood. This do as oft as you drink it in remembrance of me. If the deacons who are serving the Lord's Supper will come forward, all believers are welcome to receive this Lord's Supper. <laughs> 